For this data science bite, I'd like to introduce sequential analysis, or what we now call A-B testing, or controlled experiments. This is one of my favorite references on the subject with a very business-oriented presentation. In the business sense, A-B testing is we're going to draw our pay for future traffic from one of two sources, perhaps this red population here with the exclamation mark, or this green dragon population. We can in the future only buy from one traffic source or move our business to one and it hope it's randomly stirred that draws now are very similar to draws in the future the black discs being successful events the white discs being valueless non-successful events so we hope to pick the population such that the black discs have a higher prevalence or rate we do that by drawing samples populations are always not observable, many of the events of them in the future, but we draw a representative sample, obviously only of events from the past, and measure the proportion of black to white disks in that sample. Our hope is, and the whole field of statistics is, our inference is made about the visible sample as portrayed in the glass, representative of the future population or not. Determining that the glass in front of the red bag has a higher prevalence of the event we want, does have we drawn a large enough sample to make that a reliable inference about the red bag and eliminated interfering effects in our sample design and management. The samples are actually drawn in a sequential way. Wald's original formulation drew them in parallel pairs, one from each considered source. And again, we're trying to measure which source is better so we can switch over it. I'm going to draw these pairs of disks as we go. Here, the green bag dominated. Here, the left bag dominated. Each time we do this, I move up or down on my graph in the orientation that uh, red bag dominating is up, green bag dominating is down, and drawing the exact same tile or disc, go disc from both is a horizontal move. This parallel thing is to eliminate any confounding effects like time of day or day of week so it is affecting both populations the same, and hopefully any differences are due only to the bag designs and making a choice to switch bags a proper choice and not due to interference. Now, how do we decide when to stop the experiment? We have this blue theoretical line, and when we cross over it in our up-down annotation of the samples, we say we have definitively shown our effect is stronger than what we're able to measure at this time. Our ability to measure increases with the sample size. It turns out it, our inability to measure is scaled with one over the square root of the sample size, which is why I always say samples of size n are worth about square root n dollars. And this is the entire science of A-B testing in just a couple of minutes. Thank you.